Hey, it's Brian at Indie Ruckus. Today we're going to be playing Overture. It's an 8-bit procedurally generated dungeon crawling roguelike. And I've already tried it out for a few minutes here just to get the controls down. And I can tell you right now this game is very hard. And you're going to die a lot. I've died a lot. Maybe you're better than I am though. So today we're just going to do a quick little test drive to show you what the game's all about. Use the mouse and WASD to move around, left click to attack, and pretty much the name of the game is... long playthrough compared to some of the ones I've done. Let's try out one of the other characters here, the rogue. His strength is kind of his range. He shoots arrows. But overall the controls are the same. I have to say the tunes are pretty rocking in this game. If you happen to like chiptune music. So. The soundtrack is for sale if that's kind of your thing. Hear that or you can... Oh, look at that. Now that's what I call a roguelike. You walk out, you die. So we're going to try the wizard. I've actually upgraded this guy a little bit. That's what the gold's for. I think I'm up to oh, tier 4 here, so maybe I can get a little bit farther with the wizard. Yeah, that's a pretty good tune right here. Oh, okay, Minotaur. You just want me to die immediately, that's fine. It's your house, I'll respect your rules. So we're gonna do Cleric then. Looks like the Pope. He's actually pretty fierce though. I don't know, maybe the Pope's fierce too, I don't know, I've never met him. So yeah, I don't know. This guy, he just like calls on these little suns to attack enemies. I don't know if what that's all about, but it works for him. Must be holy suns. Or maybe the holy spirit. I don't know. Don't know a lot about holy stuff. I can make stuff up, though. You definitely want to pick up those blue bottles, or you die. Okay, I got at least one more. We gotta actually get somewhere here. What are we gonna do? I'm gonna say mage. Let's try that mage one more time. I'm gonna be careful this time. Since I've got projectiles, I'm gonna hang back a little bit and hopefully not run into like half a dozen bosses. Oh yeah, I got a new sword. That's cool. So you right click on the items, the like uh, equipment type items to pick them up. Which a lot of times you can find yourself accidentally using your special move since it's right click also if you don't stand right over it. But, I actually have no idea what limits you from being able to use your special move just over and over and over again, because really, you can use it a lot. Oh no. 
Oh no, I'm in trouble. So much for hanging back, huh? I just want this stuff. Give me that sword. Oh no, that sword's better. You can tell which one's better. I think it's pretty obvious though, but if it's red, it tells you that it's not as good. If it's green, it's better than the one you got right now. So if you go up and you pick something up and then the one you dropped down was green, then that means you threw down a better item. Oh, see, like that, I want that green one. Get him away. I want that teardrop thing. I want this mystery chest play. Ah, oh, my old sword was better. There we go. Look at that. Ah, my old sword's always better. <laughs> yeah, so apparently there are different floors you can get to. I've yet to get to a new floor. But you're probably a lot better than I am, so... You'll probably be on floor two in no time. Okay, mummy, you've got quite a bit of life. It's good for you, you're not very fast though. Plus three defense, that's always nice. You can break these little rocks, I don't know why you would want to, but you can. Okay, so that green arrow, I'm pretty sure that means that there's a boss over there, and I don't really want to see a boss right now. I don't know if I really ever want to see a boss. Oh great, so I sprung a trap. Everybody goes nuts. They're all pretty weak little skeletons though this time. Because I'm such a wizardly badass at this point. The wizardly badass who's avoiding the boss at all costs. Oh, so you guys can shoot through the wall, but I can't, huh? The water kind of like slows you down. Oh, it looks like it also... Oh, no, I thought it held back my fireballs, but maybe it doesn't. So that, that breastplate was better. Come on, I'll fight anybody except for the boss. Looks like Torkoon the Angered is over there. I'm gonna show him what's up. Oh no! Oh, I thought the Minotaur had me that time. Yeah, how angry are you now, huh? Torkoon. He didn't even give me anything good. You're gonna have a special name, you think he's at least gonna give me some good treasure. Oh, there we go, got a little friend. Little gnome guy. Spits on him or something. Yeah, so I'm gonna collect everything I can before I take on the boss, so that I actually have a half of a chance. Or at least like a quarter of a chance. None of that stuff is good. I guess it's nice to see that the items never go away, so you don't have to feel pressure to pick them up right away. Because those swords were from a long time ago. Yeah, so pretty much once you start going, once you're on a roll, you can do better. Because then you start leveling up, start getting more equipment. But all in all, it's kind of a button masher. It's strategic in a way, in that you can't just dive in. Right, Sylvia the Great? Oh, Sylvia, come on. Could have done better than that. Raphael Smith. Oh, not as good. Oh, I guess you can walk on top of the items that are question marks. It'll tell you if it's better or not. Oh, that guy wasn't too friendly. Okay, that was... Plus two, mine's better than that. All right, I'm starting to get a little anxious. Might oh, there we go. There's a better ring. I might go take on the boss here pretty soon. I'll likely die in about 2.5 seconds, but that's okay. It's just a little uh, test drive anyway. It's nice to see a game in action before you buy it, I'm sure. I'm surprised the boss hasn't come and seeked me out here. Or sought, I suppose. Sought is the word. 
that's a lot of gold. No, no, no! Get away from me! Too much fire! <sighs> Alright guys, come on! I wanna fight the boss here, you need to get off my case. What if I can hold it? Oh, I can just hold it! Okay. I'm not gonna wear my mouse out after all. Ooh, there's a nice... whatever the hell that thing is. Wow, I'm looking powerful right now. My head's on fire. You know you're powerful when your head's on fire. Look at all that gold. Okay, let's do it for real now. After I check out that sword. Not as good, of course. Oh, that's good. Let's go fight this boss. Apparently running is really helpful for fighting bosses. I think I mentioned it before, but to run you just stop attacking and you walk towards your mouse cursor. Oh crap, see like this. That's good to run when they're shooting fireballs in every single freaking direction possible. Ah, it's like asteroids here. This isn't so bad, huh? Ah, I'm cornered. Oh man, kind of low on life now. <gasps> oh, oh. Oh man, he has like a sliver of health left. Well, I'll leave it up to you guys to beat him. That's it for the test drive. Thanks for watching. It's Brian and Indy Ruckus. See you next time.